Hi, cubbies. You know that puppet skit about Cubby Bear climbing a tree to look for Timothy and Katie Colley reminds me of a true story in the Bible about someone who climbed a tree to look for someone. All right, I want you to look down here. I have three bags that are gonna help me tell our story. All right, a special object is in each bag. And when the time comes, I'll pull it out so you can kind of guess what the story is gonna be like, okay? All right, our story is in the town of Jericho. You've heard that town before. That's where Bartimaeus was. This is a tax collector. Now, tax collectors collect money from the people in the town to pay or to give it to the country to help them build roads or keep the houses nice or the streets nice. These people don't look like they're very happy. They had to pay their taxes. This tax collector is named Zacchaeus. He and most of the other tax collectors were not friendly or good people. They would take some of the money, and we have some in bag number one to show you, and they would give some of it to the country like they're supposed to, but they would hide the rest of it and keep it for themselves. That's stealing. That's a sin. So no wonder the people of the country and the city did not like the tax collectors. They were not good men. Now, because he was a tax collector, he didn't have very many friends. No one would ever stop by his house and say, hello, how are you doing? Or invite him over for dinner. No one said anything kind to him. Everyone was mad at him, of course, for stealing their money. But one day he heard the people talking to one another. Jesus is coming here to our town, they said excitedly. And they stood by the busy road waiting for him. Look at all these people. Up, oh, do you see Zacchaeus? Of course, Zacchaeus was short. He tried to move this way and that way and even stand on his tiptoes to try to see Jesus but he couldn't see him at all. Suddenly he had an idea. I'll show you what's in bag number two and I bet you can guess. Do y'all see the sycamore tree? That's going to help us tell the story. Zacchaeus knew there was a sycamore tree up down the road and he ran to it and climbed up in it. I don't think anybody really saw him climb up there. And of course, the people in Jesus were far away, but he ran to the tree, climbed up high so that he could wait for Jesus to come walking by and then see him. Well, soon Jesus and the crowd came close to the tree. Now we know that Jesus is God. God knows everything. He knows if you're lying. He knows if you're hiding. He knows everything. He knows what you're thinking before you even say it. The Bible tells us that in Psalm chapter 139. You know what? Jesus knew Zacchaeus was hiding in the tree. And he stopped and said, Zacchaeus, quick, come down from there. I'm going to your house to eat today. Well, Zacchaeus hurried down. I have another picture from another lesson. 
that shows he hurried down. Oh, the people don't look very happy. They definitely don't look happy in this picture. Why would Jesus go to a sinner's house to eat dinner with him? Isn't that amazing? Why is Jesus going to that man's house? Well, we know why. Jesus came to save us. Jesus came to save Zacchaeus. Wow. Remember, the people think he's a bigger sinner than they are. That he isn't deserving of Jesus' love. Oh, my. Well, we know differently than that. We know we're all sinners and all sins are the same. As soon as Zacchaeus listened to Jesus talk after they, while they were eating dinner, Zacchaeus was changed. He believed and loved Jesus. He didn't want to sin anymore. He actually believed Jesus is the Savior. Wow. Now, Zacchaeus had a change of heart. So what does he do? He gives back everything that he had stolen. In fact, he gave back more than he had stolen from the people. And he decided to give half of everything that he still owned to the poor people. Wow. Our Bible verse is in 1 Timothy Chapter 1, verse 15, and I want us to say it together. 1 Timothy 1, 15. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. A sinner like Zacchaeus? Yes. A sinner like you and me? Yes. Remember what sin is? Well, first let's say A is for all. All have sinned, Romans 3.23. We're not even a little bit better than Zacchaeus who stole. Remember, sin is anything we think, say, or do that's against God's words in the Bible. We sin, we do wrong things just like Zacchaeus did. You know, let's think of some sins that we do or that you do just to help you realize that you're a sinner. Have you ever talked back to your mom or rolled your eyes or not listened or not sat down when the teacher told you to? Have you ever said bad words or even thought bad words? Have you ever decided you didn't want to share something you had? How about hitting somebody or even thinking about hitting someone, being so angry that you hated them? Those are all sins and we all do them. Yes. The Bible says that our sin has to be punished. But did we have to punish such get punished with such a huge punishment like Jesus? No. God had a plan way back then. God loved us and sent his son Jesus. 1 John 4, 10. Jesus left his home in heaven and came to earth to show us how to live a perfect life. He's the only one who never sinned. He grew up. He showed us how much he loves us. Our cubby motto is Jesus loves me. He loved you so much he died. He took the punishment for our sin and you weren't even born then. God knew you were going to be born. God put you together inside your mother. Wow. God knew you back then. God had a plan, and Jesus, he died willingly for you while you were still a sinner. 
Well, all of us are sinners. He knew we were all going to sin. Let's say C is for Christ. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. We don't have to get clean and become good, non-sinning people before he died. No. But he didn't stay dead. He came alive again on the third day, and we celebrate that at Easter. Now he's in heaven. He's waiting for the perfect time to come down to get all of us who believe in him. All we have to do is love, obey, believe, and trust. Trust. Trust that God loves you no matter what. Trust everything you've learned from your parents and your leaders about the Bible. Trust and believe that Jesus is God's son and that he can save you from your sin. He's waiting for the perfect time to come back and get all of us who believe. God forgives our sin. When we sin, every time, we just have to ask. We bow our heads and pray and say, Oh God, I'm so sorry I'm a sinner, and I did it again when I said I wasn't. God, thank you for always forgiving my sin. Help me be good, Jesus. We love you so much. In Jesus' precious name, amen.